Well, hundreds were nominated, but just four rose to the top. WGN's Aaron Ivory is here with our second Remarkable Woman finalist. Yes, this finalist was nominated by her own mother. And now we all know, we moms, we're a little biased when it comes to our children. But after meeting her daughter, I can tell you this mom was spot on. For bragging around equipment. Pepper, I never played a sport. Hi, coach. I hated gym class. It was the worst. Yet for 17 years, she's been here. They need another player. So, oh, thank you so much. Ensuring all kids Coming down in a second, Coach. Had a chance to get in the game. Good shot. Like usual, we're going to stand on the sidelines to cheer. This isn't a story about coaching. Right here. As much as it is about a mom that was awesome. going to bat for her specially able son. I really wanted uh, my son to be able to play, um, wear the same uniforms, hoist those same trophies, play on the same field. Someone then said to me, well, why don't you just start your own? And I'm like, oh. Maybe I could do that. The beginning of what is now known as Access Sports. All right, today's game will be the red versus the blue. Here, let's show them. It built so quickly, right? and so it was just amazing. And I want you to push on that ball as hard as you can, okay? One, two, three, four, that's it. That first year, she had six kids along with her own four at home. We started at the program from the very beginning uh, with Dina. Max, I believe, was seven or eight years old, and uh, he started off with baseball. That was our very first baseball program he started with me. Fast forward to today, Max is 19. Come on, Max. And still driving the ball down the court. There it is. He is so proud. He loves to put that uniform on and be part of that team. Access Sports has grown from six kids in one sport to 80 participants in four sports every year. At first, they're scared. You can see them. And I look at them and I go, that's how I always feel the first day of every season. I can't play basketball to you. You can play basketball. <laughs> and to watch them grow and have fun with them is amazing. Good job, Matthew. There you go, Liam. Okay, here, like this, pal. Like this, chest pass. Ready? Chest bounce pass. Ready? There you go. This All is right, my Jack. son, Jack. Ready? Uh, I'm his father, Tim. There you go. Jack has uh, had a very challenging uh, couple of years of his life, and, you know, access to these programs are just instrumental. Well, good job, bud. There. Uh -huh. And most importantly, give them access to sports that some of these kids, frankly, never have. All right, you guys ready to come on back down? Three, two, one, all right, come on. See, these people realize that their kids can be part of a sports team. And they probably never thought they would see this. And it just validated it. And I thought, she is remarkable. Nice shot, Phoebe. Good pass, too. All right, coaches. Behind that easy <laughs> smile and sweet giggle <laughs> is a woman working a complicated playbook. She's a full-time teacher. She tutors kids who need help with reading. She's raised four beautiful children of her own. And now a fifth, after taking in her late sister's 15-year-old son last year. She said, now, if anything happens to me, you're going to take him, right? And every couple of years, she'd be telling me, she'd be saying, no, you got him, right? Like, of course I got him. I've got him, but nothing's going to happen to you. And then something did. She was so brave through the cancer. She fought it like no one else I've ever seen fight it. The sizes are good. I just need sizes. Jackson has not only navigated his way through a hard year. Uh, no smiles, huh? But found a perfect role as assistant coach to Auntie Dina's sports program. She does a lot. She, she's very hardworking. She is always doing something. Uh, she, she's really great. <laughs> Dina Seidenfuss doesn't know what the second half of the game holds but credits her team of family and young athletes for making Access Sports what it is today. 
Nice shot, Tim. There are moments where I cry because of the things that I see them do. I got this. You got this. You're right. You got it. Come on, Dina. Lead us in this one. It's amazing. Come on, Dina. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> you had a great job today. First in, last out, this non-sports mom has allowed countless young people to realize their potential as athletes. If there's anybody that's remarkable, it's her. Mm. It's just a phenomenal program led yeah. by a phenomenal woman. So if you want to know more about their leagues or their workshops, we'll post a link along with our other Remarkable Women stories on our website. And be sure to watch because we are going to announce the big winner of this year's Remarkable Women contest coming up here mm. on the 30th. Yeah. It's yeah. hard All to of them pick. are deserving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, just, fine. it's really something. You can see through that story, one person can make such a big difference. Yeah. So, so it's beautiful. True. Okay. So true. Thank Thanks, you, Aaron. Aaron.